I'm John Kessel. I'm a professor of English here at NC State. I've been here since 1982. I teach American literature and creative writing. I am a speculative fiction writer, uh, otherwise known as science fiction and fantasy, and uh, I'm glad to be here. My research, since I'm a creative writer, is to do writing. And I uh, write mostly science fiction and fantasy, or I guess I'd call it speculative fiction. It co covers a range of things. And I publish stories and novels. And I also do some editing. I edit some anthologies. Um, really, uh, in, in a way, becoming a professor was a kind of, it was the appropriate thing for me to do, even though it wasn't what I started out to do. I started out to be, a, uh, I wanted to be an, an astrophysicist. And I got my undergraduate degree in, in physics and English. I've double majored. But I also, also always wanted to be a, a writer, and so I was always writing. My motivation was to write things that I thought would be really good and, and to become famous, uh, to, to publish things and to get them read by other people. That was my big ambition from the time I was a boy. I started writing stories when I was just a kid. And so in a way, I, I'm one of those people who was able to pursue the thing that I loved all the way into my adulthood, which is, a, 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 you're a lucky person if you can do that, it seems to me. You pick up a science fiction story or, or a romance story or a horror so, story. So coming to NC State, I teach creative writing. I teach American literature. I really enjoy teaching. Uh, I, I work with young writers, and that's a really rewarding thing to do. I like to see them write, write their own work, get better at it, eventually get published. And, uh, but then I also have time to work on my own, on my own writing, and uh, this, is a, this is a good job for that. I published eight books, three novels, three books of short stories, a published novella, and then I published four anthologies edited with other people, uh, like this one I just showed you, The Secret History. Well, the classes I teach at NC State are um, both undergraduate and graduate. I teach probably two-thirds of my classes in, in creative writing, uh, from beginning all the way to uh, graduate level, and uh, mostly fiction writing. At the graduate level, we work with, uh, we have um, grad students who come into our Master of Fine Arts program in creative writing from all over the country and even all over the world. It's a small program, only 12 students admitted per year and only six of them are fiction writers. So we work really intensely with those students and they publish stories and, and novels, a number of them have published novels. So I, uh, I, you know, what I do there is I basically try to uh, understand what they're trying to do as writers and uh, help them to do that better. There are lots of uh, sort of traditional types of stories. What I can do often is say, okay, well, I want to write a story about an alien invasion, but I want to do my version of it, or I want to do something different that hasn't been done before. And so uh, my stories are almost always have a social or political commentary in them. I, I like to, my stories are often satirical or funny. Science fiction tries to be both entertaining and literarily challenging. The issue of science fiction, uh, science fiction often has very big ideas behind the stories. You know, a memory erasure and how that would, uh, uh, you know, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, if we have a traumatic experience in our lives, and we could erase it, it, would it be a good thing to do that? You know, that sounds like it might be a real boon. Uh, but on the other hand, maybe it makes us less than human. Maybe it would cause us to sort of evade our problems rather than solving them. The best stories, it seems to me, take, they have a big idea behind them and have implications that are social or, or political. But uh, I think that they don't make good stories unless you care about the characters. So uh, to me, when I talk to my students, it's always about Okay, you may have a wonderful idea, but you have to invest that idea in individual people or who are in a specific place at a specific time dealing with, with real problems. I'm, I'm sure people will be different in the future, but they won't be that different. Okay, people still have the same emotions, uh, fears, desires, uh, fundamental drives that they had 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 years ago, uh, even though our technology has changed and our social sy systems have changed. You know, maybe the specific issues will, will change. You know, how the labels, the political parties, all that may change completely. But uh, the issue of, you know, how, how is it best to live uh, is it, still going to be around, it seems. They'll, do, they'll still be doing things for reasons that are comprehensible reasons. They won't be doing things completely arbitrarily because, uh, because you need them to do it. You know, people will, will, will um, um, still, still have to have rational motivations. Or even, or even if they have irrational motivations, they'll be based on something. They won't just come out of nowhere. So um, I think that, uh, yes, uh, science fiction and fantasy too, even set in an alternate world where you have hobbits and you know, uh, wizards and things, uh, still it has to make sense. You set yourself a problem 
often in a story, and then your job is to figure out a way to do it. Sometimes I know the ending of the story before I start, uh, and then sometimes I don't. I, I used to have to always know the ending when I started writing. But now that I'm a little older, I'm willing to trust the process a little more. My motivation is to just keep writing, writing better. Although I've been writing a long time, I'd, I'd still like to write new things and better things. But uh, I really like it here. I like Raleigh, I like the Triangle, I like North Carolina, I like NC State.